Hello everybody, I'm Edgar Fernandez from Pharma Chemical Safety. Today, the topic of this short presentation is the definition of competent person. Because I'm located in Ontario, Canada, um, I base this uh, uh, presentation on the OHNS Act and Regulations of Ontario. However, I review other acts for the, the other provinces and the definitions they have little differences, but at the end they are very similar. The another reason I want to talk about this topic is um, I'm noticed recently in different professions, for example, engineering profession, safety profession, and others, there is a lack of knowledge of this definition, competent person. And commonly, we interchange this one this uh, for other words such as adequate person or qualified person that at the end the minister of labor doesn't recognize those words as a competent person however those words are included included on the competent person definition so let's see so according to the ohns act and regulations of ontario Competent person means a person who, number one, is qualified because of, no, of knowledge, training, and experience to organize the work at its performance. And it's important to emphasize on this uh, first component of the definition that a supervisor, engineer, safety professional, or whoever is in charge will organize the work, but maybe that person, he or she, may not be necessarily competent to carry out the task. And as we can see on this first component, the word qualified appears. So it's part, this qualified person is part of the competent person definition. Also, a competent person means, second component, is familiar with this act, the Ontario Act, OHNS Act and Regulations, that apply to the work. The third component of competent person is has knowledge of any potential or actual danger to the health or safety in the workplace. Let's review this study case to demonstrate the competency of a person. So company ABC needs to develop and implement an isolation of hazardous energies procedure for the equipment XYZ. What a competent person does need to demonstrate regarding on her or his competency in this matter. As we reviewed, the first company is qualified because the knowledge, training and experience to organize the work and its performance. So in this case, to develop and implement an isolation of energy or hazardous energies for a specific equipment, she or he, the professional, would be an engineer, safety engineer or supervisor so needs to, to, needs to identify the different sources of energies that make the equipment work. Second, carries out an adequate assessment of hazards of the sources of energies. Third, develop and implement the energy control procedure. Fourth, recommends how to isolate the different sources of energies. Five, design and deliver the training. And six, provide coaching while performing the energy control procedure. The second component is familiar with this act and regulations that apply to the work. So she or he knows the Ontario Regulation 851 Industrial Establishments. He is familiar or she is familiar with the CSA standard, that means Canadian Standard Association set for 460 that it's related to the control of hazardous energies. He, she or he knows the responsibilities of the employer and employees. She or he knows the Canadian Standard Association set for 432 machine safety and also indicates how to report an incident occurred regarding on this matter. Their component of, the, uh, of this case is has knowledge of potential or actual danger to health or safety in the workplace. By carrying the hazard assessment, that person will identify potential dangers of each source of energy while performing different tasks in the XYZ equipment. 
So in conclusion, it's not enough to name somebody or identify somebody as a qualified or adequate person, because according to this definition, we need to comply with the three components of to be a competent person. So myself as a professional engineer and as a, as a Canadian uh, um, registered safety professional or, cert or certified safety professional in the States, so I need to comply with this uh, with this definition. If I gonna carry in my activities, or some or, or a company or one of my clients ask me to pro, to to develop a procedure and implement this procedure in 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 the location, I need to comply with these three components to name myself as a competent person. That means I'm qual I'm qualified because I have the knowledge. So. I know I have the knowledge of the equipment. I have the, the training, so I've been trained before on 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 how this equipment works, and I have the experience. So by car by uh, carrying different hazard assessments, by knowing how this equipment works, how it's designed, what is the purpose of the equipment, and familiarize with the OHNX acts and regulations. So depending, I'm familiarized with codes such as building codes, fire codes. Uh, CSA stand, uh, standards that are, apply, that are applicable to that task, um, the same Ontario OHNX Act and Regulation, or the other provincial provincial OHNX Acts and Regulation as well. So uh, it's very important to to know to be aware that if de depends where I'm located, depends where that client is located, I need to follow their own. Uh, uh, the provincial OHNX acts and regulate acts and regulations. Sorry. So and then I'm ha and I have the knowledge of any potential or actant dangers to the health or safety in the workplace. So if the a Minister of Labor, um, in um, when performs inspections or audits or um, or they conduct incident investigations. One of the first questions that they ask is the if the person was competent. And when they say that, or when they are looking for com for competency, they are looking that that person, that supervisor, that manager, that engineer, that safety professional complies with this definition. You have any question? Uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I can um, help you with this, um, how to understand this definition in your workplace. Um, I can do it by free. I, I don't have any problem with that because I've noticed that um, recently there is a lack of knowledge of this definition and it's very important to understand it. It's very important to help the community to understand this definition. So please contact me at Edgar Fernandez at pharma-chemicalsafety.com or visit my webpage pharma-chemicalsafety.com or to see this uh, short video, uh, visit my YouTube channel or pharmachemicalsafety.ca. Um, there's another page that I have for article for blogs and posts, so you can see other posts that I'm designed uh, for uh, regarding on other um, safety topics. Uh, thank you very much. I hope this uh, short video helps you to understand this definition that is very important. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.